this video, we're going to draw trees and their environment. So let's get started. This is a tree I was drawing already uh, when I decided to actually make a, a video of it. And I will continue this drawing. I've taken out a filling pencil. It has a very sharp point. And I'm going to make a kind of a landscape, a park-like. And I will show you how to draw trees. I got kind of a composition in my head. And what I'm going to do is I will get back to the tree on the left and on this right side I will be drawing an old oak which is kind of a dead oak and I want to show you in this video how the different uh, kinds of skin of, of the trees are built up and how you can draw them and make a lively nice drawing just by making little scribbly lines I've taken kind of a horizon and in the far distance you have some trees going on and some low bushes and I'm putting these in especially with a pencil because later on I will be drawing my little landscape with a fine liner a inked, uh, inked kind of, not a pen and ink, but a mechanical ink pen. But first, before I can do that, I have to decide where everything is going to be. For instance, in the distance you can see a pine tree, and I'm deciding where everything is going to be with the filling pencil. I make a little bit of shading. So I can see the difference between the trees in the front and the trees in the back. And the sun is kind of in the back of this drawing. It's like a sun that is coming up or setting down. So the light is from behind. And when the light is from behind, the trees in the distance will cast a little bit of shadow. In the middle, I will be making a kind of, uh, well, maybe an apple tree or something. It doesn't matter really, I just want to show the different kinds of trees and uh, the, the trees that are in front of you, the trees that are far behind, and how to make a difference between these. You see, I'm drawing little scribbly lines for the leaves that are on the tree that is in the middle. Let's call it our apple tree. So, this is kind of my composition, what I want to do, but before I go on, I want to show you a little something of some trees I've been drawing. Here on the left you see three kinds of trees that are silhouettes. So when the light is from behind, you can only see the silhouette of the tree. And of course you have uh, pine trees or trees that have leaves and many many more trees. And when you look at bushes, you can see you can hear very easily uh, make differences just by shading. For instance, this tree is a bit of a light kind of tree. And it's in front of some bushes that are rather dark. On the other side, you can have a rather dark tree. Which is dark from itself. And the bushes behind could be quite much lighter. You can easily see difference just by simple 
tones, shadings of grey. You can differ those greys, uh, for instance in this bush, you can easily make the top of the bushes and uh, the, the lower parts of the bushes that are darker to make them appear as bushes. Same is for a tree and when you have a tree underneath the, the leaves you can make the, 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 the wood itself very dark so the leaves stand out better. So simply shade in and you already have kind of bushes and trees going on and it's quite simple but you have to make st a study what do I want to do maybe a winter tree a summer tree a silhouette let's go on with the drawing I've taken my ink pen now and now because I've already decided where everything is going to be with my pencil I can now put in with the ink the rest of the drawing I simply make scribbly lines for the old dead oak tree in the front you can see more detail so maybe I can draw some leaves or even some flowers that are in front of us and this makes the drawing very lively here you see some nice flowers in the front maybe a little bit of shade underneath them and now the eye is drawn in front of the drawing and yeah the, the behind seems to disappear when you move your eyes to the front so again it makes the drawing very very lively the right tree our old oak tree can be drawn rather dark so I make rather thick sturdy lines and I scribble along the skin of the of the trunk of the tree you see the lines are very very simple but still it appears that the tree is is there and then I can easily put in the darkness of the middle tree our apple tree simply decide where the bushes will be and where the the little uh, branches are and then you have a tree in the middle for the horizon I make it a scribbly line not not really straight because in uh, in a bush or in a in a wood nothing is really straight so I keep making my lines really scribbly for the branches that are without leaves I simply draw them out and make them appear smaller and smaller as they move away I also set in, put in the, uh, the pine tree now let's take a look at the left tree that I already started I have to make a difference between what are branches and what are leaves now the branches are rather dark and the leaves 
uh, take in some light, uh, some diffusion, diffuse light, I think it's called. And because leaves are rather uh, fat, they always take a little bit of a glance. The little branches you have to spare. May, keep them light and also the leaves a little bit light and then put in the branches extra dark so you see a great difference between what are leaves and what is the trunk. In front I put in extra detail. For the leaves, I simply uh, place little scribbly lines and I keep putting them in and you can see for the branches I make round uh, lines. When you have too much pencil going on, you can easily erase it because your inked uh, lines will stay where they are. But you can also use your pencil to fill in and make some shades or even um, the skin of the, of the trunk or the leaves. I want to show you another example. You can see two trees and in the middle I want to show you how you have to think like a tree is round. So if you have a trunk here that was sawn off and you can see the growing uh, little circles, they keep going on and on and on so the trunk is round. Now for the branches, they can come out of the, of the trunk at any place. So they can be in front or nearly at the side. And also the branches are round. Now for instance, this branch is coming from behind. When you make it a little bit darker, you can easily make this look extra round, if you like. So keep in mind that you have a front and you have a back. And the branches come out of all kinds of the way of the trunk. Here you see a study of yeah, the skin and all kinds of, of stuff when you take uh, pencil and ink. Okay, let's continue with the drawing. For the old oak tree I use as little as possible lines because it's kind of dead. And for the left tree, I take in a lot of scribbly lines. I've speeded up the time a little, so it won't take too long, but you can still follow what I mean. I make scribbly lines for a lot, a lot of leaves. And I keep continuing. So I'm very sturdy about it to keep scribbling. The, tree in, the trees in the back, I put in extra dark, not too dark, but just a little to make them 
uh, div come apart from each other. In a forest or in a wood, there are also all kinds of grasses going on. And I simply make little lines that are just not overlapping. And then they look like grass. You can even make little kinds of bushes or some kind of big grass-like uh, plants. It's all very simple. You simply make out a little bit of dots and you make them extra dark and so they appear to come just from behind the old oak, oak tree. I shade in extra detail to make a, a difference between the bushes in the back. In the front I make it extra dark of course. You can see the smallest branches of the old oak tree are all going one way. That makes the oak tree extra old and kind of dead. Now for the pine tree I make it extra dark because they are dark by itself. As the sun is coming from behind I can make the pine tree extra dark because it's dark from itself and the sun is coming from the back. Here I'm putting in little round circles so there appear to be apples or blossom or something. Just to make a difference between three kinds of, actually four kinds of tree. A pine tree, an apple tree, an old oak and the left, well, whatever kind of tree. also fun to make two trees uh, come together like the left tree is kind of overlapping now overlapping the, the apple tree in the middle and on top of the drawing it's overlapping the old oak tree And the fun part is, when you have too much pencil going on, you can simply erase it. Or you can put in, uh, like here, I have a pure graphite. And when I need the top of the drawing to be a little bit tense darker, you can easily take out a graphite pencil, which is very thick. And then you can easily shade in some grey tones. When you push a little bit harder on the graphite pencil, you can also use it in the front of your drawing. It saves time and you don't have to shade in everything with the little ink pen. I think we have company here. This is my cat and he's always wanting to watch me draw. I'll just put him aside. Sorry for that. Okay, let's go on. Um, here I put in some dark with... What is my cat doing now? I think he's hungry. Let's get him away. Okay, 
I'll be signing up. My cat is hungry. I do not have much of space, so I put in my name here. <laughs> and I wish you all the luck with drawing trees. It's a nice study and I wish you all the luck with it. And I hope to see you again in one of my videos. So, take care and bye bye.